Hey Kayla, you know, what do you think about the sire bases? How's that sire base? Have you tried those sire bases? You know, I've been considering buying one. You've had one of those sire bases. Are they any good? Today, I'm gonna share with you guys five reasons. You've heard all the hype on the internet about these bases, this base right here. But what are the downsides that they're not telling you? I've owned a sire for three years and here are five things that bug me about my side. It's actually more like 4.5 reasons because the fifth reason is more an extension on number two. So let's go into it. One, the battery covers will break. Now this is specifically to the generation one, the first generation of Sire bases. But these are the ones that are gonna be kicking around the second hand market, which you can probably pick up for less than 300 quid these days. The Sire is a fantastic base. It is a really fantastic base, which I'll get onto in a separate video. I'm gonna actually give you guys a rundown on my ownership of the Sire base in the last three years in a separate video. We'll go into everything else that I love about this base too. But yeah, if you get a generation one, chances are it's only a matter of time before these break. Point two, it's known as a budget base. There's a stigma of these bases being a budget base, okay? Because for the longest time, the hype about them being is they're such great value for the money, which they are. The downside of that is everyone thinks you've got a cheap base. And unless you're someone that has played them for yourself, if you played one and owned one, you know how good they are. If not, it's, it's got, it can have a little bit of a stigma attached to it. Number three, the pots. So this is actually one of, it's a bit dusty because I, this bass does get abused. This is one of my favorite preamps on a bass guitar, period. Like everything just does what you want, as you want it to. I don't know if this will appear on the camera, but what I found is from being in and out of bass cases and just daily kind of gig life, my pots have kind of twisted a bit and bent. They still work, so I guess that's good, but like this particular pot here is cracked as well. The fourth thing that I dislike that bugs me about this slide, and this is a bit picky, but it's the fact that it has two batteries in the preamp system. And it's just an extra hassle when you have two batteries. It's another battery to change. It's another set of batteries that you've got to carry around with you. You know, if your preamp dies, you, 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 got to, you got to change both batteries. So it's just a little bit more maintenance. Fortunately, there is a passive switch. So if your battery dies whilst you are on a gig midway through playing, you can just flip to the passive and you'll still have sound. They fought that through, but yeah, two batteries can be just a little bit of a pain sometimes. And now reason number five, which I kind of pointed to in the second reason of it being a budget base, that it's not as well known of a brand right now. So it's questionable to turn up with a sire to big gigs. Now this of course is being, this is being combated by Marcus himself actually, you know, playing a sire on his gigs now, but he's biased because it's his new signature brand and yeah, he's being, he makes up money off the profit being sold from each one of these bases. So he's gonna play. For your average, for you and I, going out to a gig or an audition, turning up with a sire can perhaps give the wrong impression because it's kind of more people either don't really know about that base or if they do know about it, they think of it as the budget base and it can kind of give the wrong impression to who you're auditioning with. Now, in short, that doesn't just apply to sire bases, that applies to two and a half, four grand custom bases, because really they want to see a Fender, they want to see a B bass or a jazz bass, if it's a more commercial gig, like a pop gig. If you're going for more of that stuff, I would say keep this for home and <laughs> get a four string jazz or P bass for your pop stuff, your pop auditions. That is my five on this. I am going to put in a full three year long-term review on this bass. 
check out the merch. Subscribe to the channel for more bass life, bass tips, the journey. There's gonna be some other stuff thrown in along the way. But I'd love you guys to follow and let me know what you think about the Sire basses in the comments below. Let me know if you've had the same bugbears. Let me know if any of you have owned them and you've got issues with them. I'm just giving you guys the most real, honest review on these. It's an amazing bass. It is one of my favorite basses. I actually sold a Fender Jazz 5 Deluxe Mexican bass after I got this because I prefer the sound. Check it out, I might drop in a picture. Check it out, other than that, stay bass cliff.